All right, good afternoon everyone. Mark Shandro here with another great video. Today I am in Newport Coast, Newport Beach actually. We're gonna be taking a look at this property. This is another property that's going to a pool auction and uh, this video is kind of for my clients so they can take a look at exactly what they're considering buying. It's a beautiful home. You know, I think it was an escrow for about 1.2 at one time, surrounding neighborhood. Very nice, this is a gated community. <clears throat> it's on Whitehall here. And the, the one downside with this property that you immediately see, even I don't think it's that big of a deal, is that you got, kinda got this other property tucked back beside you. So here's your entrance, and then there's this other home right there. But I don't think it's that unusual because a lot of these homes are totally on top of each other. So let's take a look. We're gonna walk around real quickly. I'm gonna give you an idea of what kind of condition this home is in. It's got very nice floors. As you kinda walk in, you get this beautiful big <coughs> atrium. All the fixtures are in place. This carpeting is a little dated. Uh, you know, that could be definitely be upgraded. You have some nice high ceilings in all these rooms. You know, the construction is pretty similar. I think with these houses in this area, it's really, they're all very similar in terms of size, square footage. You might have some that have a little bit more desirable floor plans, but essentially they're gonna be the same and the pricing is gonna vary heavily on their upgrades. So this property is pretty much not upgraded. Here's a little workstation right here, which I really like. Here is the kitchen. And you'll see what I mean by upgraded. White tile countertops, very old kind of wood style um, cabinets. I mean, you have a nice Bosch dishwasher, but that's about it, you know? I mean, the tile is, is um, kind of boring, the built-in fridge, so. I mean, it's not that bad, but it could definitely be upgraded so it shows a little bit better. I think that tile especially, some granite would make a big difference in that. Here's a family room, really nice. No apparent problems. You got a built-in fireplace, a nice built-in entertainment center that looks like it was custom made for the house. You have your first bedroom, downstairs bedroom. Again, could probably do with some carpeting. But the paint looks okay, a few holes. I mean, I would certainly paint it fresh. Again, similar with the bathroom. The tile countertops here. Uh, the vanity is okay, the sink is okay, the fixtures are okay. But just that tile is just, I don't think it's very appealing. And in today's environment, people are demanding a little more. Especially if they're going to pay over a million dollars. Here's the garage, which is really cool. The garage has been really renovated. Two car garage, actually three car garage. Um, one of them is side-by-side, -side, strapped hot water heater, so you can put a third car there. Look at that, some nice built-in cabinets. This is a really nice feature for a house. I mean, these are quite expensive to put in. I like to put those in my house. Um, let's take a look. You can see the backyard there. Let's take a look outside first, and then I'll finish up upstairs. And this is again one of the, another downside of the house. Actually, the backside, the yard is absolutely beautiful. The problem is you have a large, I think it's Bristol uh, Road right behind you. So the traffic is a little bit loud. And, but they did a really good job, the previous owners, of putting in a lot of nice ve vegetation and foliage so you don't have to worry too much about the traffic. You can see they put a fountain there to kind of mask some of the sound. There's the other house I was talking about and here's the rear of the house. Again, another gazebo that's probably very rotted. I did notice a little bit of, of water damage on some of those up top, if you can see that, those wooden shutters. All in all though, I would say the house is very well maintained. You know, considering it is a foreclosure, see there, you, know, you see the shutter, it's a little worn, a little water damage. There you have two air conditioning units, which is really nice. I would imagine one for one floor, one for the, the second. With some um, planting, some garden right there. I mean, the, the landscaping is really nice. The, the little bird bath. The exterior is okay. I don't think you can even touch it because it is a, a pud. So let's take a look upstairs. So you walk right through the house again. And this really big, beautiful atrium. And let's go upstairs. And this is one of the first things you see is this carpeting, which is really could probably be upgraded or at least cleaned. It's a pretty neutral color. You know, today, I mean, this house feels like it was built 10 years ago. You know, with all this, the color schemes, very, very minor, bland. This is the big, and this is the master suite. Here, and you can take a look at the road behind the house. See that? 
a little bit of a traffic, sorry for my reflection. This goes to, you have one, two, big closets, jacuzzi style tub, you know, his and her vanity, shower there, commode there, a little stain. I don't, I don't think that's anything out of the ordinary. And I didn't notice you have a little bit of mildew up there. I don't really know why, because it has a window right there, and you shouldn't have a roof leak. So that would be certainly something you'd want to look at. The other bedroom. This place has got some nice plantation shutters um, pretty much throughout. Here is another bathroom. There's bathrooms all over this place. And we're going into a little dark area here of the house, sorry. This is uh, another bedroom. You know, it's got wallpaper. It's got this really, um, this pinstripe wallpaper, which definitely has to go. It's very, um, it's still a bit too heavy for my taste. But I guess a little boys room would be okay. Here is the last bathroom. So, there you go. I mean, again, this is in pretty good shape. So, this is it. Mark Shander with another uh, report. This is from Newport Beach, and um, we'll see the, what else we have. So, this is it. Any questions, give us a call. 562-364-9505, extension 100. 562-364-9505, extension 100, here in Newport Beach.